Thanks, Linda. Sander has a new book that can start your quest for knowledge. He joins Kathy now with a preview of the book. Thanks, Linda. And thank you, Larry, for uh, coming on the show today and sharing your latest venture with us. I think most of Irving that, that know your work know you to be a wonderful artist. And now you've combined that talent with uh, another talent, obviously, for, for digging into uh, some history and pulling out some great examples of uh, African-American heroes. What, what made you decide to take this venture on? Because I know it was a huge one. Uh, actually, I kind of, kind of stumbled into it in a way. I had been trying to uh, get uh, African-American history incorporated into the regular American history curriculum in the Irving School District. And that's basically the planted the seed. And from there, it's just, well, if I'm gonna do all this work, I might as well make Absolutely, a book. Absolutely, you know? make a book out of uh -huh. it as well. And, and yeah. so you, st you started your research. About how long did it take you to, to, to call everything? Well, two months, I guess, just to gather the information and then to you know, decide who, who you're gonna include and who you're not gonna include. That's gotta be a yeah. tough part. And then al alphabetizing everybody and, um, and deciding to go with uh, what number of different careers you're going to go with there? Uh, yeah. It was, it was kind of difficult. The the actually the the uh, artwork was, of course was the easiest because <laughs> that's where your natural talent yeah, is. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's only a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> the red stuff it is the yeah, work, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I noticed in taking a look at the book that you've broken it down into different categories, which I'm sure helps you decide what for you was the most interesting part. I mean, I'm going to guess that when you started dealing with the artist, you were like, oh, okay, I know this subject matter. <laughs> but, but for you, what was the most interesting? The inventors. The inventors were. And I thought I knew quite a bit about uh, what was going on in, in African American land. But I really was uh, quite humbled by what some of, the, some of the things that I found in there. Um, what would you think is, uh, of, uh, off the top of your head, the most interesting thing you discovered that you think is not common knowledge? I don't know. It, it just goes from the cradle to the grave. You go from uh, from Richard Spike's uh, milk bottle cover combination, uh, uh, milk bottle opener, to the uh, um, uh, Albert C. Richardson's uh, casket lowering device where you're going into your grave. Yeah, That's very practical And everything thing. in between, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Granville T. Woods, one of the greatest inventors, period, of any time, I think. Uh, uh, and I'm no, sure you really can go on and on yeah, and on. Could, yeah, yeah. Well, so many. and so we'll have to get people, get these books in people's hands so that they will know what you were able to discover. Um, I know you've got the website and a telephone yeah. number that people can call for more information. Yeah, uh, www.larrydale.com. Larry, thank you so much for uh, letting us share the book with the community and best of luck with your quest to uh, get the word out about these people that you discovered. And I may also say, uh, I'm inviting everybody out down to the uh, uh, Black Arts Council's art exhibit this weekend. Uh, Maybe we'll have a surprise down there. Ah, okay. Uh, that uh, sets us up for something, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Larry. Okay, good to see you again. Good to see you too. Linda? Thanks, Kathy. We'll definitely want to know what that surprise is. If you've ever